one of the greatest engineers was Isambard Kingdom Brunel, who was born in 1806. He started his engineering career by working for his father, Sir Mark Brunel, as a resident engineer on the epic Thames Tunnel project. So difficult and treacherous was the boring of the tunnel that it took 16 years to complete. Whilst convalescing from a flooding accident in the tunnel, Brunel tried his hand at bridge design and produced the eventual winning design for the Clifton Bridge, a suspension bridge to span the Avon River Gorge at Clifton near Bristol. Somewhat short of work, he also began developing as a dock architect, travelling the country, surveying and designing dock improvements for Sunderland, Woolwich and Bristol docks. As a consequence of his notable work at Bristol, he was invited to put forward proposals for a railway to link Bristol to London. After Parliament had approved the route he had surveyed, Brunel was appointed to engineer the entire Great Western Railway, stretching from London Paddington to Bristol Temple Meads. But why stop at Bristol? Why not create a ship that could connect Bristol to New York? This thought led Brunel to design the Great Western, the first ship of its size to cross the Atlantic without refueling, and in the process was the first ship to win the Blue Ribbond for the Atlantic crossing. But larger and faster ships were urgently required, and so Brunel designed the first iron-hulled ship of any real size, the Great Britain. With screw propeller propulsion rather than paddle wheel, she was the largest, fastest, and strongest ship of her day. But bigger was even better, and Brunel's final ship was a leviathan called the Great Eastern. Designed to sail the eastern routes to India and Australia, and vast enough to take a whole year's exports in one trip. The Great Eastern was also renowned as the first luxury liner, and no greater ship was built for another 50 years. These were just some of the great man's achievements, and over 100 years on, many of Brunel's creations are still in use and can be seen today, including the beautiful and classic Clifton Bridge. The Great Britain now being carefully restored at the western docks of Bristol. One of Brunel's finest stations at Temple Meads, and the picturesque floating harbour situated in the heart of Bristol. Brunel's dream was to be the first engineer and an example for future ones. As such, Brunel's engineering legacy continues at Brunel University.